right, let's jump into a few easy pointers about the editing software. Of course, you're probably very familiar with the layers. So you have your layers. So the things that are on top are the things that the viewer will see and the things at the bottom will be covered up. So here we're putting together a few graphics because these graphics have a transparency. You can see through some of them. So there's a little picture here and then there's something here and then there's a picture here and then you can see the background here. So each layer is like the person's eye looking at it and this is what they see from top to bottom. So if something's on the top and it's all black, if you have some black here, it'll cover up and there's nothing you can see below that if you have some black color or black slide. When you're putting your video together, the most important thing you need to pay attention to, of course, is your cutting, your editing, and that's often called montage. So splicing is a kind of montage. You splice together the things that you're going to show. So in this example here, we can see that we've got a person and an animated person. So a real person and a fake person. If we cut these together, that's called a montage, and it creates a feeling that these are together or they lead to each other or that they're doing something that's related. It, it creates another idea, a third idea. Anyway, that's not the main point to show this. The main point is to show you there are two ways to put clips together. One is a hard cut and one is the dissolve. So when you overlap these, they can do what's called a crossfade or a dissolve, depending on the setting in your software. In Vegas, this is very simple. You just go ahead and pull one clip over the other clip and it will automatically make this crossfade like this. So very convenient in Vegas. Here we can see inside the lab we have our editing bay over here. Whoops, went too fast on that. Editing bay over here and our capture area over here. So our editing bay is labeled there. What about adding B-roll? B-roll is a way to show cutaways or other viewpoints or other shots inside of your main message. And one thing is very sure, and that is that if you add B-roll to your video, it really makes it look better. So if I'm talking about my school, my school is a beautiful place. That's good. If I show you a picture of my school, that's good. But it would be even better if while I'm talking, then we have a drone flying over the school showing it's beautiful and you cut away to the drone. Wouldn't that be good? That would be called B-roll. So in B-roll, we just have to buy it or we have to get free B-roll or we go make it by shooting it. And here's an example inside of our editor, which is Sony Vegas. Uh, Vegas is not owned by Sony anymore, but Vegas software. We can see our media bin, and that is all of these videos here we have. Some of them are the videos we shot, some of them are little graphics, and some of them are B-roll that we can drag in and use inside of our video. That's very convenient. Inside your editor, in this case Vegas, you may also have other kinds of media. For example, we have different colors like yellow. We have different titles, so you want to put words on the screen. Just go ahead and take this and say, oh, I like this one. This one moves left and right and has green. So you pull this into the timeline, and then you'll have that graphic or that title inside your timeline. It's that easy. When you are using your editing software, it's probably important to remember the bigger your screens, the better. You need more screens. Bigger is better, more screens is better. So if you're using a little tiny notebook, I can guarantee you it's going to be very tiresome. You're going to get tired out, it's going to be hard to do. Because the video editing program has so many features, has so many little tiny buttons. And of course the, the preview is tiny and the little video clips are 
tiny. So it's enough to drive you crazy on a small screen. So we use big screens as much as possible. Now when you're editing your video together, one thing you often do is you're going to put in bookends. And bookends means the beginning and the end of that scene. So I'm going to teach you something. So at the beginning I introduce what I'm going to teach and at the end I summarize. So you can have little intros. You could have something even shorter, which are often called bumpers. So bumper is a little bit of video music at the beginning and a little bit of video music at the end. And those bumpers or intro outros could be a little bit longer. Bumpers are usually shorter. You can drop those into your video. And so in the case of our video, we use a little logo and a little clapperboard and that acts as the intro and outro or the bumper for the video. When we look at the timeline, it can become very complicated quickly. And here we can see we've got all of these different parts in the timeline. So up here, what we actually have is the bumper at the beginning. And then here comes the intro to that next part of the video. And then down here is the background music for the video. So this bit here, the bumper, we will use this over and over again for the opening of all of our videos. And then this music, you can see this little bit here is actually the beginning, the bumper. And then we go ahead and we change over to the music for the rest of the video. You can see the crossfade right there, there's a crossfade. Also very important to pay attention to is if you look at these video ends, the very ends of the video right here, and the ends of the audio right here, and the end here, and here, here, there, there. You can see that there's a little line, a diagonal line that looks like this. It goes like that. Here's the video, and this line goes like this. What is this line? That's the fade out. That's the fade out. So I like to always add those fades at the beginning and end. It makes it much easier for the viewer to accept than just to have a sudden and cut or drop. So those fades are very, very helpful. You want to do everything you can to help make the video smooth, the edits to move smoothly. And just a straight cut is not very smooth. So I like to have a transition, a crossfade, and even when I'm doing nothing, just coming to the end, just have a little fade out, and then the next one, a little fade in. Very helpful. Usually when I do this, I have a rule of thumb, and that rule of thumb is that I make the fade, this line, to be 15 frames. 15 frames if your video is being formatted or input or being edited at 30 frames a second. So that would mean 15 frames is one half a second. So that little space there of fading out is one half of one second. Usually that's fast enough that people don't notice and slow enough to give a little bit of a transition. It makes it feel very smooth actually. Here you can see another example of what I'm talking about. We have the bumper coming in here. This is the video with the clapper board. And then we have some titles, unit two. So these are titles here. And then we have some more titles up here. So these are gonna be all words. And those words fade in. And then they fade out. And here you can see I'm talking. That's me at a desk, it fades in. And then above me, the bumper with the clapperboard fades out. So you have a fade out and a fade in, which is the same as making a transition or a cross wipe like that. So here's another example of the same thing, only here we see some more audio doing the same thing. So down here we have our audio and we have a transition here fade in, fade out, overlapping. And then right here we can see this audio fading out. And we can see this video here fading out. And then our 
bumper here does this and over here you can't see it because it's a little bit black there but that takes that one too. So here we can see the video clip me at the beginning and me at the end and at the end I have the mouth open. So what I can do is I can grab the video clip at one end and I can pull it like this. And now you see, see the clip is much shorter, right? But I grabbed it from the right end, so what's happened is we've cut off or we've removed the video at the end because you see my mouth is not open anymore. If I pull it to the right, now what happens? I'm getting more of the video on the right. So this is the video clip. I can keep pulling it until I get more and more until it runs out, until it repeats. What if I do that same thing on the left side? So I come to the left side, I grab it, I pull it like this, and what's happened is I've cut off a lot of that video there. So now we're missing the video at the beginning because I've cut it off. Okay, so that's how you do the fade in, and that's how you do the kind of dragging the length. And at any time you can choose your clip, and you can push the S key, S means split, or you can right click and you have commands like split and now you've cut your video. But even though I cut the video, I can still pull the video. So now, right here, this little bit is the same as this little bit because we cut it and then I pulled it over a little bit. So it's a bit of a repeat. So you never lose anything when you're editing in this kind of system. Now what Vegas can do is very easy. It can take these two clips and we can pull them over each other and you'll automatically get a fade or a crossover effect. Now you see that little number there? That's the number of frames. Don't forget, in video, one second is 30 frames. So 15 means 15 frames. And that's half a second. If we pull it in further and further, 20, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, there is no 30, it's one. Why is it one? Because one is one second. Okay, so if I pull it in even further, 1.01 means what? One second, one frame. And then it'll go one, two, three, all the way up to 30, and then it'll be two seconds. Okay, so that's very easy in Vegas. You can just take two shots, pull them together, and you have a cross fade. Very, very easy. It also does your audio crossfade there. And you could go ahead and use your mouse and grab that fade and change it again to be longer or shorter because we can change the fade. You can also change the kind of fade or use some effects on the fade. But that's getting a little bit too detailed for this video. <laughs>